Hello everyone and welcome to Moonride. This is Dave and I'm channeling the man in the moon. Uh, I got a message this morning during my meditation that it would be a good idea to um, channel three things. Kellyanne Conway, Mike Pompeo, and Wilbur Ross. Now trust me, these are pretty much the last three people I want to take a look at today, but I got to be true to spirit and um, go ahead. Maybe there's some special reason why we're gonna look at those two people. Um, yeah, not sure where to start here. Let's start with Pompeo. His face comes up first. Okay. So Spirit, why, why are we looking at Mike Pompeo? What's the, what, what's, what's new? Okay. So, um, odd image. It's like almost like he's coming around in a circle, not a full circle, but like 60-70% of a circle. He's coming back to something. There are some ships. I see boats. Um, so, Spirit, is he going to try to, you know, start a war with Iran again? Is that the deal? Show, show me more. Okay, you know how those skateboarders sometimes go on a ramp and they go back and forth? That's kind of what I get right now. So I am kind of wondering if he's going to try to ramp stuff up with um, Iran again. He's looking really sneaky. Like, oh, I got the secret plan. And he's thinking, Trump's too stupid to notice. <laughs> he won't know what's going on. It doesn't feel like it's a very practical plan. I think that some aspects of it are not going to work. Um, something's going to, something's, it's not a very sound plan. Let's just put it that way. It's not practical. It actually looks good, but it's not a practical plan. Uh, there'll be some boom where it doesn't, it all comes apart. Yeah, this guy is a very dark character. He would start World War III tomorrow if he could do it. If he could get away with it, he'd do it. And that's, in a way, like what he's trying to do. I don't think he's going to succeed. Um, I'm fairly certain he won't succeed in doing it. But he's going to try something. Spirit, can you tell me any more about, okay, there's another ship. Now I'm seeing the full-on, like, American military ship. Uh, not a, another country. And it looks like he's planning a fake bomb on it. Like, um, he's making it look as if something's gone wrong with this ship. Hmm. I, this is what I literally see. A, a small goes, boat goes out to that ship. It's a bunch of guys in blast masks. They try to put a bomb on it um, to just put a hole in the hull. Um, and um, something, it's like, um, you know, they try to be sneaky about it, but I think the um, bomb that they put there is, um, it, it has more effect than they expected. That's what I see. It's like the hole's bigger than they thought, but they just put a little hole, but the hole's bigger. I also get that somebody might see them do it. And they might even get caught. Mm, mm. It kind of has almost like a Watergate break-in feeling to it. Like they get caught doing it in the middle of it. Um, I actually see Richard Nixon. I'm pulling out, I'm opening, you know, emptying the, his pockets. And um, that's just, it has like, oh, I'm innocent, you know, kind of uh, thing, which, you know, Nixon didn't actually plant the bug. He sent people in to do it. So that's kind of the feeling that I get, that somebody's being sent to create this fake thing. Again, I see the same ship and I see another hole in it. And I'm just wondering if that boat is really an American boat or a foreign boat. It's like one of those hard rubber rafts type deals that has the motor. Uh, it says US on it. 
and I always say like like they've covered up the word U.S. and but it's revealed. So Spirit, can you show me one more thing about Pompeo? Uh, or is there something else that he's going to do? Hmm. Now, he's wearing a crown. I get the feeling that Pompeo is actually going to orchestrate this himself. He's not going to um, get Trump in there. He's just going to do it himself. And that's one of the, you know, really um, significant things about um, what's going on is that Trump has no idea. Uh, and this is a sort of usurpation of his power, which uh, won't suit uh, Trump, but it certainly won't suit anyone. Mm. Anything more that we need to know? Mm. Just watch that guy. Watch that Pompeo. He is a very, very dark character. He's very tricky. And there's nothing he wouldn't do to um, get his own agenda. Like, I think even Bolton is a little bit shocked. That's what I see Bolton's be mustache twitching. Uh, I think he's kind of gone rogue here. I see lots of guys in like black ski masks, um, stuff like that. It's just uh, something's going on there. Anything more? Hmm. Okay, now there's um, Pompeo with like a big hose, like a gigantic hose. And it's like almost like he's hosing me and everybody in the audience off. That's sort of like a water cannon type deal that he's doing. Um, and he's trying to, like, sort of mystify us by shoving water in our face. It's very aggressive. All right, so let's take a look at uh, Kellyanne Conway. Okay, you won't believe this image, okay? Because Kellyanne Conway is actually looking kind of glamorous. I know that's a real stretch. But um, she's sort of spinning around like she's some kind of model, you know, with like um, her earrings and the whole, you know, clothing and all that stuff. Um, so um, it is a very odd image. But she's like kind of like spinning around like a ballerina, like some kind of little girl or something, like um, charming people, trying to charm people. Mm, but I get like she smiles and she's got uh, fangs like she's uh, Dracula's wife or something. I think that um, something might be revealed about her. That she's not the person that uh, Trump thinks she is among other things. Mm, tell me more about Kellyanne. I see her like almost like moving across the globe, you know, like maybe this is during her uh, vacation or a trip, uh, a State Department trip or something, some kind of event. Again, she's showing me her teeth. She keeps showing me the sharp teeth, like, <sighs> you know, kind of thing. She's going to get caught at doing something. Somebody's going to catch her doing something. Hmm. Her hair is kind of on fire. I don't know what that means, but Spirit, what does it mean that her hair is on fire? I get kind of just like it's real trouble. You now, real immediate, like panic driven trouble for her. And she's running around saying, oh, somebody put my hair out. Somebody put my hair out. It's on fire. But at the same time, um, nobody's interested. Like all the Trump people are like, yeah, and? Um, so uh, tell me more, Spirit. What else? Is there anything else we can know about Kellyanne? All right, now she's holding a dog, like on a leash, she's got like this little chihuahua type dog and it's really aggressive, you know, and it's like, again, the teeth, it's like kind of aggressive. And she's holding the dog on her leash, but it's just close enough to, you know, to look dangerous. And um, what does that mean? It's kind of like she's trying to hex us. She's trying to fool us. 
Um, the dog is just like, well, here's a little dog. It's not really going to harm anybody. It's too little to, to haunt, to do much, but it's sort of, uh, still she's using it to attack. It's just like a distraction, um, an attempt to defend herself, but a not very successful one. Uh, it kind of looks like pathetic in a sense. I mean, you and I could kick this dog like a football, not that you should ever kick a dog, but that um, that's the feeling of, okay, it looks like it could bite me, but I'm not, at the same time, it's laughable. Like, what are you going to do with that little dog, you know? Um, so, hmm. yeah, something's going wrong for her. She sheds a tear. She picks up her dog and she puts it in her arms and she turns and she walks away. And then um, she goes through the door and it closes. I, I, I would say like this just is like something signaling the end for uh, Kellyanne. All right, so let's go to Wilbur Ross. Hmm. Wilbur Ross is cold, holding a knife. And he's looking rather rabid. He's actually going around like popping everybody's balloons. Tell me more about Wilbur Ross. Again, something else will be revealed. Uh, about him. He's sort of wearing um, sort of a cloak type deal that covers his face um, and uh, it almost looks like, you know, KKK uniform type deal, but he takes it off and then it's like, oh, there's Wilbur Ross. We didn't know that was Wilbur Ross underneath there. Something, something appears like it will be revealed about him. Hmm. Um, possibly maybe more theft. I know he already has like money on Cayman Islands and all that stuff. Um, it was revealed by the White Papers or the Panama Papers or something um, that he um, is, you know, hiding money off offshore. But like now I see him literally in my backyard cutting the flowers. Like this is mine, this is mine, this is mine. Um, you know, it's winter here. So, you know, I only have like three flowers. So it's like one of those things where it's like, you know, it's important. It's not just a flower. It's like everybody's, you know, benefits or bonuses or stuff like that. And, um, I just think it's like, he's, he's stealing or he's caught stealing. I'm confronting him and now in my backyard and saying, you know, Hey, those are mine. <laughs> I grew them. Right. Mm. There's somehow maybe where he's lining his pockets with government money or taxpayer money. Um, there's something where he's doing something criminal. And they're emptying his pockets, but there's money in them. He's denying it, but it's he's caught sort of red-handed. That's sort of my feeling. Can you tell me any more about Wilbur Ross? Yeah, um, he has a halo, he throws it away. That's like a, it's like an ethical, he's no longer an ethical person. I don't know if he ever was, but it's like he's completely walked away from any semblance of being a good person uh, or a just person or an honest person. He's not, no longer interested um, and it looks pretty bad for him. Like I see him being buried, right? And um, I don't know if that has to do with more, his mortality at all, but I, it's almost like he's hiding in the ground and um, you know trying to put dirt over himself so nobody notices him. Um, and it's really pissing off Trump actually because it makes Trump look bad again. So spirit, these are all very depressing uh, people and depressing images. <laughs> Could we have something like maybe positive, like? 
what could I tell people about something maybe good that's going to happen? Hmm. Is that really her or someone else? Yeah, it might be that Kellyanne Conway actually um, says the truth about something and reveals something about um, that we didn't know. And that's why she's bringing on so much ire from the Trump administration. Because um, I do see her. The positives I see are just actually people protesting. And you know what? It has a really positive feeling about this. It's like... All those people are together in one place and they're meeting each other and they have this common cause and everybody's there and we're all Americans together and, you know, we're the world together and it just has this feeling of of um, just even crossing common, you know, maybe we wouldn't necessarily agree with all those people in that place, but we all believe in what we're doing and um, it has a feeling of um, people being brought together. I know it often feels like in this time people are very, very divided. But notice, you know, at the same time, how many people are coming together? Um, you know, how many people are just meeting each other and um, becoming friendly? You might even think of, um, you know, myself and like uh, Linda G or um, Lena Rodriguez, you know. We, I never would have met either of those marvelous people if I hadn't done this work. And there's, you know, a lots of other people I, I could mention now. I just, I don't have so much time. But, you know, just think of that. You know, like, hey, here you are. Um, you're watching this video with a bunch of other people. You don't, even, you don't even know where they live, maybe. But you're interacting. You're having this conversation. You're creating these communities. Uh, these are the kinds of things that we're going to need moving forward. These kind of communities where people are listening to each other, they're active, they're productive, they're uh, taking their feelings about this into some constructive, productive thing. And remember, when you're doing that, you're making a community, you're making new friends, you're meeting people, you're making valuable connections, you're working together uh, because you are called to this. And you know what's pretty awesome about it? You're also doing it not just for yourself. It's not just your college tuition that you want for free. It's that of everyone, you know, and there's a great feeling involved in this when people come together and they work. Um, again, I'm brought to um, those people who are um, protesting outside the um, centers for the um, um, immigrants that are coming here. You know, those people are dis disparate. They, they're, they're from different backgrounds. Um, some of them are not at all, you know, the background of a Latin American person. They're just, per they're just people who think that it's right. Um, you know, there may be people even within your family that you've always disagreed with, but you know, then you go to that place and you're all working for the same thing and you're like, well, let's just forget about the past. We need to work together um, for the future. Remember, um, they do say that all politics is local. And you know, when you're going there, you really are creating a family you're creating a movement, you're making connections. You might go to a rally and make friends with someone who you'll be friends with the rest of your life. And that person will be someone you call on the telephone once a week or someone who you go visit or someone who, you know, you take care of each other as you're getting older or somebody gets a divorce and you're there to help them. You know, it goes way beyond even the political it goes to the really the social and um, a lot of these connections have been broken and in a way okay we're breaking these connections but we're making new ones don't forget as you're you know finding it difficult to talk to some people you are actually in total agreement with others as you register the truth of what's really going on and um, these people are helping you stay in your new truth and um, we're not being passive here we're being active and um, really you know races cultures classes all of those people are coming together into one place and saying okay I might not agree with you on everything but I do agree that we must not spend you know money for state parks so that Trump can you know have a couple of tanks rolling besides him in his you know um, Republican rally which is what this has become you know so um, remember that uh, there are really good things that are happening in the face of darkness and when 
important thing about the darkness is that um, we have to face it and it makes us choose. It makes us choose the right thing. It makes us come together. Um, it's, a lot, um, it's a lot harder to come together to do something good than it is to do nothing or to come together to do something bad that's beneficial for yourself. It's a lot harder, but people are being compelled to do that. And they're also experiencing the joy and power of working together with like-minded people. There's just a soul-to-soul -soul connection that's going on with all of those uh, people. Remember, um, whenever you get kind of depressed about all this stuff, and I, I just don't blame you if you're getting to those feelings, remember, well, you know, if this weren't happening, I wouldn't have you know, met that person. I wouldn't have solved that problem. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't never um, be really just so focused on the benefits of, you know, children who are being imprisoned right now. I might not have even thought about that in a different time, in a different place, but now I am. So, so good things are really happening. It's a change. It's a big, big change that we're going through. It's a cycle that must happen. It just has to happen for us to go and become. And that's not a bad thing. All right, so on that note, thanks for watching.